Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use a combination of AI and Infranodo's text network visualization tool to understand what people will think when they read the book that I'm writing. In fact, I'm working on a book right now. Um, it's here in, in design and it has uh, some images and texts and it's almost finished and I just need to understand uh, what they will be thinking about when they read the book. So one use case I found that's very interesting is that I can copy and paste the texts that I'm working on into Infernotus. So they will be shown here and then on the right here I can see what are the main topics inside. I can understand a little bit what the content of the book is, even if I wrote it myself, it's really great as an overview. But more importantly, I can also use the built-in AI to generate the summary and also the questions to explore. And the questions to explore feature I find is very interesting because it's based on the structural gaps, which are highlighted here. And it kind of shows you what questions people might ask when they read your content, which I think is really amazing if you're a writer because you almost get a glimpse into how people will actually perceive whatever it is that you're writing. So if you're interested to see how it works, that could maybe work for your own texts or articles that you're writing, keep watching and I will demonstrate it step by step. So first of all, I take the part of the book that I'm interested in. For example, here it's gonna be this text and I just copy it and then I paste it into Infernotus. I go here. Um, and I go analyze text content, paste the whole text, click next, and then it's going to be visualized as a graph. And the way Infernotus works is that it visualizes the concepts as the nodes. If they're more relevant or more important, they will be bigger on the graph. Like here I'm writing about waves, so it's obviously a big concept. And then if the terms are used together in the same context, they will have the same color and they will also be closer to each other on the graph. So this is how we identify the main topics. Here I can see that this part of the book is about wave dynamics, natural complexity, small symmetry. That's a strange topic, but we'll zoom into it later. Tidal patterns, and then we have more topics here. So it gives me a nice overview of the main topics that the built-in AI identified in this text. And then I'm gonna jump in directly and try to generate some ideas based on this content. So, the way that you can start always is just to go into the AI Insights panel and let Infernotus generate the summary for you and also the question to explore, which is basically based uh, on the gaps that it finds in your content. Here I see that the text explores natural variability of wave patterns, emphasizing their organic and complex nature. It discusses how waves are fundamental to various scales of existence, from celestial bodies to living organisms, embodying a continuous cycle of tension and release. The interplay of waves signifies the essence of nature's logic, promoting adaptability, sustainability, and evolution. That's a pretty spot on summary of what I wrote. And also it shows me that the AI is understanding it pretty well. And the advantage of using Infernotus here is that I'm not just copying and pasting it into ChatGPT and asking ChatGPT to generate a summary for me here. It's using the underlying graph structure. So it has much more semantic information and also it shows me those high level ideas like small symmetry, natural complexity, wave dynamics here. So the summary that it generates is going to be much more pertinent to the content that I wrote. And the way that I like to use it is to not only see what's there, but also what's not there. So if I feel like I wanted to add something that is missing, um, then it's also an indication for me that maybe I could add something about this topic there. For instance, here I see it's not writing anything about fractality, which is quite an important topic for me. So I'm gonna make a note for myself here and write, uh, add something about fractality and fractal dynamics into the intro. This is just a note for myself, but you can actually also then use the AI to generate some text based on those notes. Another thing that is really useful is that when I go into the main ideas uh, and I look at the smaller topics here, I can, for example, say like, okay, let's say ocean tides. What was that about? I can select this ocean tides and then I can ask the AI to generate a summary just based on this topic. So I open this panel here, AI insights, and then I select the topic and then I say, okay, generate um, an assertion based on this topic. I can also generate a question or just initiate a chat based on it. Right? And here it's saying in a system designed for long-term survival, the pattern of variability echoes the natural rhythms found in waves and seasons. This links to how options as particles in wider perspectives as waves can fundamentally alter conditions for existence, suggesting that both granularity and scale 
are key elements in ensuring resilience and adaptation over time. This is great because it shows me that this is the kind of idea I wanted to put into this text and it's found there, it's relevant, it comes up and I like that it connects to the ocean. So it serves as a sort of reaffirmation that I touched upon this topic that is important for me. If I didn't see it in the list of the topics, like for example happened with fractals, I would add it into my notes and then come back to the actual text here and add something about fractals here. Another thing that you can do is if you go to the blind spots here and you identify some gaps, so the topics that could be better connected, you can generate interesting questions based on those topics. And the way I like to think about it is that, you, uh, is that the readers, when they read this text, they will probably also be asking questions themselves. In fact, I want them to ask questions when they read this book, right? So when they select this, um, or when they read about those topics and they will touch upon the topic of tidal patterns and small symmetry, for instance, there, there will be probably questions that they will be asking themselves. So then I can ask the AI to generate a question that the reader would ask and see if it's something that relates to my text. Make sure that you also click here, derive from this context. So it derives the question from this context. If you unselect it, it's going to come up with a more general idea, which is great for ideation. But here I just want to stick to the content of the book. So here it's asking, how do the cyclical patterns of tides and seasons influence the distribution and growth dynamics of living organisms in relation to the spatial logic of small and big elements in nature, ensuring ecological balance and sustainability. In fact, it's a great idea because it's talking about this uh, part of the text where I'm writing about how the weight of the living creatures is distributed unevenly. You have uh, ants and then the next jump is, for example, squirrels and uh, rats and then the next one is like uh, dogs uh, and so on, right? So it's never like a gra gradual shift in weight mass, but it's in lumps. And uh, so here it's proposing me to think how this relates to this idea of how elements in nature are uh, created this way in order to maintain some ecological balance. And it's a pretty interesting idea, in fact, that makes me think that maybe uh, this is how it's organized so that all these different species can actually survive because uh, they will compete for different kinds of resources. So it's a great insight to have uh, for the reader, potentially, but also for myself as a writer, because uh, it gives me an idea for something else I could think about. So I'm going to save it into my notes. I can just click on this button, save it into notes. And now, because I already gathered a few interesting ideas, I'm going to favorite this graph so that I can later find it here in the list of the many graphs that I have. It will be starred and so on, right? So. This is how I would approach asking the questions. And then I would show another gap and show another gap. So for example, mindful practice and complex systems. This is a gap because I'm not really connecting those topics together in my text, but hopefully the reader will make the connection. This is also one of the objectives of writing. You don't want to say everything. You want to sort of lay out a field of possibilities and then the reader uh, themselves, uh, they will actually make the connection, right? So then I'm gonna generate a question it could also be a fact or an assertion. Uh, and here I come up with another idea, like how can the study of wave dynamics in natural systems characterized by tension, release, and frequency variability inform our, our understanding of the emergence and evolution of complex patterns in the universe from celestial to cellular scale? So this is great because it's another really interesting question that I hope the reader will ask. So I'm going to save it into my notes and move on from there. So if you're interested to see how that works, try it out on infranotus.com. Also feel free to ask me any question you have and also please subscribe to this channel so you can get informed when the new videos are out. Thank you.